Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. Anthony to Manchester United is eminent as you can see. The deal isn't done yet, guys. The deal isn't done yet. The situation here with Anthony is very clear. We there was an information here on uh Facebook, uh one of the groups in which we, we do follow. By the way, guys, you can so you can join our Facebook group, all of them are below here. And uh yeah, talk with other fans and exchange ideas to get some live information. And guys, please make sure you smash a like on this video. And subscribe on the channel because we'll be going live anytime when this deal is live if you want to be the first to know just subscribe but yeah so uh, the, we have had david Unstein who has come out and said the deal of anthony uh is very close and uh i think it, i think by uh, in the coming hours some would say maybe in the next 48 48 hours um, um anthony will be uh, uh the manchester united i just had a manchester united player yeah, so um, so the situation with Anthony here is that Ajax wants 100 million euros, and this is not a full payment. It's uh, it's included add-ons, which means the full payment might be it's like 80 million euros, then 20 million in add-ons if Anthony can be a best player in the Premier League or goals or whatever realistic add-ons. So <laughs> that is the situation here with Anthony, and this is um, there are things that, there are certain things we have to take away on this this deal. Anthony coming to Manchester United for Ajax. It will make Anthony the highest transfer in Aero Division in the league in the history of football. I think the player who had the, the highest uh, transfer used to be De Jong when he was bought from uh, Ajax Amsterdam to um, Barcelona. Uh, then you had, I think, De Ligt also went to Juventus with high high transfer as uh, Ajax. Normally, Ajax do sell more than other other players. But yeah, Anthony has um, who broke the record. The, the, when I, I mean, yesterday I, I, I got um, when I really knew this deal had to go forward is uh, when I, I listened to the the interview done by um, uh, Fabrizio Romano uh, with um, uh, with uh, with Anthony, and I saw you know Anthony said it clear that I want to leave the club way earlier than uh, than uh, this summer, and they refused to sell me. And uh, it seems as if his head is not with Ajax. They Ajax are playing, by the way, today, and he is not featuring the game uh, uh, today with Ajax. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's why when uh, this rumor came out, uh, I think also in Twitter that Anthony has some uh, Manchester but Anthony, everybody just freaked out, and you know. But the deal isn't done yet. This is what I'm telling you guys. The deal isn't done yet. So you should make sure that you subscribe. And when the deal is done, you'll be, I'll be live. And uh, we'll, we'll have live information. We'll talk about where he's going to play and um, how uh, Anthony fits into Manchester United this season. But guys, I have a question for you guys. You know, I mean, one of the most in this, in this channel, one of the most exciting video has been Anthony. Uh, and I'm, more, I'm asking you guys, why do you think Anthony is so important for Manchester United? Because personally, I think Anthony coming to United will improve the squad. That's 100%. But we will not win the league. I mean, many might say we will not win anything this season. Why? Because the error that we did with the present with the present board. This is the problem that we had. Is we started doing our serious uh, uh, transfers very late along the side, the line of the window. So uh, it is very a uh, very bad thing. You know, we have all this uh, uh, change in in, in uh, leadership in Manchester United, but still the 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 old way of doing business is still uh, permanent. That gives an information or gives signal that is the Glazers who are really slowing down things. It's the Glazers who are not signing on on transfer. That is why we think Glazers need to leave Manchester United. It is very rational here to understand that the Glazers have held the club with an iron fist for such a long time without relinquishing power to anyone. And you cannot, if you're in a position where you work for a company where you can make decisions, it's quite complicated for you, the job. So I can understand the CEO and also, I mean, what I'm trying to say is that most time we get all some information about deals. Maybe the biggest problem is because the deals haven't been signed off yet. And if you have deals which have not been signed off yet by those who control the company, it is. It is. Uh, I mean, it's it's a bit frustrating for those working under the company. If you if I'm making sense. Yeah, we'll talk again again about uh, yesterday. I had um, I heard I heard what um, all schools spoke about this player in uh, BT BT News. You know, I watch a lot of football. Uh, BT News, well, Postco basically said, I mean, that I actually basically left the and let the player go because uh, the player wants to go and play for a bigger club. But, you know, Ajax Amsterdam is a massive club, but I understand Postco that he wants to get that exposure because playing for Manchester United, if I play for Manchester United one day, I become well known. It's just, you know, uh, over a million people know about you. 
if you are the best player playing for Leicester, nobody knows about you. So there is a massive uh, advantage playing for Manchester United if you are, if you if you really want to get that brand recognition in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a bigger environment. Because United, for certain, for some reasons, and um, United is a very traditional and very special club, and playing for Manchester United, it's uh, seen as a uh, many would say it's an achievement, not not because you must win a uh, win a, uh, a a trophy, but just basically because of that exposure and 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 it comes with massive uh, scrutiny. So, um, 100 million euros is a lot of money. Personally, I think uh, United have overpaid for this deal. And uh, yeah, I think 100 million euros for Anthony is a lot of money for. I mean, he doesn't want a whole hundred million. Anthony at max. If we let me just put it this way: if we did this deal when I started, right? When we started talking about this deal two months ago. And yes, I mean, I forgot about saying this, but let me tell you guys. Two months ago, if you're a viewer of this channel, I came on this channel and said I'd go. Uh, a certain journalist on gold, 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 gold.com talked about Brazilian gold.com in Brazil. Talked about Anthony's potential move to Manchester United. That was when um, Ten Hag showed his interest in bringing Anthony. He had said it before, but uh, that was leaked out. And since then, Manchester United had to sign Anthony. We would have bought Anthony for 60 million euros. And now we are buying him for 40% more than that price. And um, it, it's, a, it's a shame. This is, a, this is why you see uh, it is very important for fans to behave maturely and understand where the problem lies in Manchester United. Because it doesn't lie, we have understood the problem doesn't really lie with the managers. It lies with the owners. Because uh, uh, it's just a dictatorship going up in Manchester United. Because we, there is no flow of communication in the club. And, that we, and you can see that. You can see it. This is something which is very evident. If you see small clubs like Newcastle bought by the Saudis, they build a whole a chain of command of, of, of um, the messaging is, is, is properly transmitted from one uh, level of um, management to another. It is done properly. And you see, they, they get the players they want, the right time they want, and for the right fee. You would not blame Ajax Amsterdam for asking, for wanting to have a, a 100 million or breaking the, the error division um, transfer record for this player. The, because on Thursday, basically in less than... In less than four for five days, uh, um, for five days basically, the the, the 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 transfer window will be closed. And what should Ajax do? This is their best player. Well, anyway, talking about the player, personally, I think Anthony is a very fair player. I think Anton Anthony will bring a lot to United. I think this is a kind of player that I like personally. On a personal level, I least used to be a flair player, not as big as you guys watch on TV, but yeah, and uh, this is my kind of player, right? player player he's going to bring something that manchester united doesn't have you know in city we do have mares we do have uh we we do have some really quality t t players in city but united we really don't we have very direct player bruno is very direct at the end of the day he, he doesn't have this magic that he does uh, that uh, anthony will bring i think anthony comes directly will come with a lot of scrutiny the scrutiny the ma I mean, for 100 million euros, he would need to be at the top of his game the first three months. It will be, a, it will be an issue. If you, wanted, if you think Harry Maguire has a lot of uh, pressure playing for Manchester United, I think Anthony, Anthony will have even five times that pressure because Anthony will have to prove, especially the early days when he comes, he needs to, his first game, he needs a goal. He needs to be very impacting because the money backing him come to United, the British journalists will not leave this guy settled if he doesn't prove his worth. If you have been watching the British, uh, the Premier League, you understand exactly what I mean. So guys, Anthony coming to United, there will, will be, well, what, 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 what would that be for the club? I want to hear from you fans. I want to know the, what you think Anthony uh, will bring to United as a player, what he will bring uh, as a brand. He's not a massive brand. Nobody knows him. He will get the exposure about, from United. What does he bring? Do you think Anthony coming to United will change the, the tide? Do you think he has the personality to carry the club? These are all the questions that most of us are, are, are asking. But as I said from the beginning of the video, the, the deal is not done yet. It is very close. David Onstein has, has come out and said it. David Austin, actually, it's a British journalist. I guess most of you know him. He has been the star of the transfer windows, especially with things related to Manchester United. Fabrizio Romano, you guys know, he has been doing world transfer on a daily basis. 
on a yearly basis, well-known worldwide in this industry. And these are people, they have confirmed that this deal is as close as my two fingers, which means that in the last 48 hours, it could be today in the evening, but when the deal comes up today in the evening, guys, make sure uh, you will get the first to know. So make sure you subscribe and share because uh, Anthony's deal is eminent. And when the deal comes, when I come on live, we will have a live discussion, which will be very interesting as we had it before when I was on holidays. So with that all said, match a like on that video. Please make sure you subscribe, drop your comments below. I want you to tell me what you think Anthony brings to Manchester United. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.